It was here near this spot on June the 5th, 1637, where Captain John Mason, along with Narragansett and Mohegan allies, entered the Pequot stockade to attack the village here in Mystic. The uh, Indian people were asleep, uh, heavy in sleep. Uh, they had been up late the night before dancing and celebrating the um, supposed departure of the English, which they thought had left the Thames River the day before. They were wakened by their dogs. At that point, um, some, the first of the Indians that woke up cried, Owenux, Owenux, which uh, in Pequot means Englishman, Englishman. The colonists entered the two entrances to the fort and killed many men, women, and children as they awoke. Still, the battle was inconclusive until Captains John Mason and John Underhill ordered that the 70 or so wigwams in the fort be set afire. The wigwams, made of bark and saplings, burned fiercely. The English withdrew outside the village's wooden palisades and with their Indian allies slaughtered the Pequots as they fled the fire. The massacre lasted less than one hour. 400 to 700 Indians were killed that day, with only a handful escaping. It's told at one point that one of the uh, soldiers, uh, upon looking in one of the wigwams, saw a group of children huddled near a, one of the uh, pieces of furniture inside of the wigwam and turned around and told Mason that there was children in there. and. Uh, and uh, he was concerned, and Mason said he didn't care to kill them all, everyone. Don't leave, don't leave a soul. And uh, upon hearing this, the soldier set fire to the wigwam, and the children perished. They said they could hear their screams burning in the fire. Captain Underhill later wrote in defense of the attack that God inspired the English to annihilate the heathen Pequots. Some have said, he wrote, should not Christians have more mercy and compassion? Sometimes the scriptures declareth women and children must perish with their parents. We had sufficient light from the word of God for our proceedings. Reeling from the defeat, the remaining Pequots in other villages split up and fled all over southern New England. Hundreds were chased down, killed, or captured. The Pequots lost everything. It was a clear signal to other New England Indian tribes. The powerful settlers had won the battle for the land.